Hi everyone. Uh, we're tackling the problem of um, high air traffic um, used by Hong Kong, Hong Kong people for, for leisure in other countries. So we want them to stay in Hong Kong and discover more place in Hong Kong. So uh, discover wealth within Hong Kong. Yeah, in Hong Kong. So uh, we're basically building a website and the website uh, will promote uh, the Hong Kong local tourism and, and we can compare, uh, let, uh, let the users to compare with uh, the, uh, the other options, uh, traveling options in other country so that um, they can, they can uh, have a mind that oh, they save money and they discover more in Hong Kong which is very interesting maybe they don't know before in Hong Kong like some cultural uh, activities or some uh, local villages like um, so, uh, how to initiate this one? We will share on Facebook page, and uh, we will we'll have um, some uh, some tours uh, we we'll provide by the locals, like uh, the villagers, and we will invite some uh, for start up the website. We will invite some um, uh, villagers for tours uh, that already implemented uh, in the. Uh, basically in like uh, Marble Boat Farm if you know what is that uh, yeah so I uh, will put uh, the tours in web, uh, on the website and let the citizens um, to try to uh, try to search about these uh, yeah, to create basically we are creating an online platform for them to uh, search for local tours instead of uh, traveling okay so um, once you enter the website and you the most uh, the, this picture of Hong Kong scenery will just fill the whole web page on the, <laughs> on the home page and there will be a search bar okay. so yeah this will be the search engine so um, actually uh, this question will be like what's on your mind and we'll have some um, keywords like romantic feel or just a relaxing weekend or places or places like Japan, Paris that I want to go and I just type in the keywords and there will be a matching and after matching uh, uh, there will be like a, a quiz like, like uh, uh, okay okay uh, after matching there will be a suggestion so yeah, and for the suggestion uh, we'll, uh, like, we will suggest them a place similar to uh, the like for example, when they search for uh, watching maple leaves, we will give them the option of Tai Town Country Park where we can also see red leaves. And then we'll have a brief local tour and let uh, people register or just show them uh, the opening time and hours so that they can go there by themselves. And here we have a chart showing them how much money and how many days they have saved through traveling locally instead of traveling overseas. And the most important feature is that We'll show them how how many tons of carbon dioxide they have saved in, uh, by traveling locally instead of taking the airplane. So, and here we will have a link, a URL. When they are registering or when they are looking at the info, they can also click here and we'll show them uh, the exact, maybe the carbon footprint in Hong Kong and uh, how much uh, pollution air traffic makes so that we can initiate the green incentive into their uh, mind and, uh, and imprint the green consciousness to their minds. Okay, so uh, this, this is the uh, uh, quiz, quiz part. It's kind of interesting because it shows pictures of uh, have giving people a choice which one you want to go and there are pictures and some uh, Actions and um, it's not me, help me. Basically, we, we, we'll just oh, uh, like basically, uh, after they have searched the list, we'll pop up a range of features. For example, um, if they are not interested in the local chairs, we'll let them search. For example, uh, they type they want to go to Paris. And then we'll pop up a series of pictures that look like Paris, and then to trigger them to click onto the pictures. And after clicking them, they will find out that the place is actually located in Hong Kong. And then they will look into the local tours to explore the possibility of traveling in Hong Kong instead of uh, Paris. Yeah. So it's actually triggering them to look into the local tours if they find 
the ones we provided are not as interesting. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So this is basically the end. Okay. How will we promote the site? How will, how will the public know about it? Yeah, uh, we are still thinking about it, but basically we will um, share it on the, so uh, we will use the power of social media and uh, we'll have um, the stations, uh, booths on streets or different universities uh, because uh, we, we our, our main client is um, young adults because the young adults want to go anywhere, uh, everywhere <laughs> and uh, it, will, it will be, I think it will be effective uh, more effective on social media to promote this one. You could distribute coupons to help you promote the website. Discount coupons, you get the, you get discount when you book on the social on this website. Oh uh, yeah, so that would be a good way of promoting. And uh, secondly, uh, what exactly is the name of the website? Will it be? Uh, will, will, it, will it have the apostrophe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this so is isn't that inconvenient for people because most people type the websites without the apostrophe. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh no, uh, just just name. Just, just, just name. Uh -oh. right? yeah. It's not the URL. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, it's just the uh, name. Logo. <laughs> kind of logo. Yeah. So from my understanding, a lot of people in Hong Kong would want to fly somewhere else because they want to be in a completely different environment. Mm -hmm. So like, say there's snow, which we can't produce, reproduce, or like a desert or a rainforest mm -hmm. or like other factors, like celebrities that you can't see. So what about those cases? Which are, they might be your choice. Mm, I think I think we are not forcing them to stay in Hong Kong, <laughs> forcing them not to travel, but um, create an option or a convenient place for them to uh, look at Hong Kong's other alternatives. Mm -hmm. Like when they're talking to people into the chatting area, mm -hmm. all were traveling for a short period. Mm -hmm. So yeah. in the Southeast Asia, all. Oh. It was Seoul or Taipei or yeah. Singapore or Japan. Yeah. So or India but close. So I'm not going to uh, Arabia Saudi or yeah. Paris or Germany, just stay close to have rest and less stressful space. So you can reproduce it actually not. But I mean like say I wanna see my like K pop bands in Korea, but then we can't we can't use it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, personally, I mean, it's all about the feeling. I mean, when I, I I take my luggage and uh, you know you board into the plane, it's it's kind of like of holidays. Mm -hmm. You are going, you you fly away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you use uh, carbon emission. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> I don't really care actually because I'm. We have hungry. something, <laughs> but we haven't we haven't we haven't uh, 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 put it here. Uh, we are thinking of that uh, to expand this idea. Uh, people can go to like different places in China or like uh, places in close proximity by not planes but maybe trains or boats. Mm. Or taking and a plane to Taekwon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, that that feel of like people are are get used to like planes are really fast transportation but uh, they don't really appreciate the time they spend with like other passengers like mm -hmm. having a chance to chat with uh, people next to you in a train something like that so we may try to uh, like promote that in our like, further expansion and, and on the minor problems uh, what is mean by 20,000 tons of CO2 does this numbers mean nothing to all of us because mm. we don't know how much uh, of this, how large it is. So how do no, we do? of course we will have uh, either clicking or some place we will display some uh, educational. Uh, yeah, like yeah. this equipment to uh, like open the lights for thirty years, yeah. something like mm. that. <laughs> 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 Good idea. Yeah. Compared to I mean, it's it's yeah. it's oh, yeah, yeah, scale. For it's point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like so the other problem. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we will make it an attractive color so that people will click inside to mm. know Check more their, about their, their, yeah, yeah. their curiosity. Yeah, and provide some alternatives. I don't understand that. Yeah. Yeah. Keep improving on that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a good question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, when you are introducing like the country park to the Hong Kongers, so they will have.
request to post uh, his uh, tour plan onto our website and we'll actually screen it first like maybe we actually uh, experience the trip with them and see if they have kind of a, a green sense in them uh, to really love their neighborhood love their environment and tell people not to uh, throw away trash so we're trying to in the meantime like providing entertainment providing the, the traveling experience but also um, trying to educate the citizens. Yeah, um, this, this website is originally uh, for local people uh, uh, to stay in Hong Kong so that they won't uh, travel far away by planes but how about do you think that visitors from foreign countries they may be interested in this website and they may uh, like travel to Hong Kong by planes. <laughs> it's too attractive. Yeah, it's, 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 it's too, it's too, too attractive. attractive. <laughs> but I think this idea is transferable. If it succeeds in Hong Kong, we can do another website in another place. <laughs> Japan. Let them stay in that one country. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on track to Hong Kong. Dot com dot xk dot com dot uk. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. If they chain reaction, you have one in Japan, then Hong Kong people want to go to Japan, then you have one in Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, so I, I have two, two thoughts. The first, the, the CO2 is always a problem with this because if I don't get on that plane, it's not like the plane's not going to leave without me. So it still flies off. It's still, the CO2 still comes out. So it, it, maybe there's some other way to try to deal with it. That. We cannot truly really think like this because if everybody think like this, like planes gonna still be. But if there are not customers, there are not planes. If there's no customers, there's no planes. But if I don't get on the plane, there's still a plane. Maybe there will be fewer flights. Maybe. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess yeah. what you hope, but I mean, I guess that's maybe that's a better way of trying to explain. It. Uh, but I think the one thing that maybe that you're not you're missing on there that I think could also be very helpful too is that if we're basically if you're focusing on Hong Kong people to stay in Hong Kong and discover the world within Hong Kong, I love that tagline by the way. Then you're also encouraging people to spend their money here too. So I think that there should be something that says this is the added benefit to the Hong Kong economy by staying here. Yeah, I, I sorry, I have a, a question that's also. Uh, um, uh, related to this part is because um, whenever my friends go for a short weekend trip, like I, I would think, oh, is there any other better way to use that money? Because you are telling, you are showing people, okay, by doing this, you are saving this amount of money. Mm -hmm. So if you can also uh, maybe partner with some organizations, which can come up with better ways of using that money in that period of time. Say for example, there might be uh, there might be a really interesting illustration class that people can go to for. We can for three days, and with this money, and you can give them a little discount if they're doing this. And that I think that might also give them uh, another perspective as to what kind of values I can make when I am not only saving, um, making the world greener, also discovering the world in Hong Kong, but also doing something else. Yeah, because I think I think we often have this conversation that when people are traveling all the time, they're just traveling to escape, and they're not getting any value out of it. And my friends are depressed on the way home. Like they're depressed when their plane is landing Hong Kong. They're like, "Oh my God, I'm working tomorrow." But but if we can like encourage them to stay in Hong Kong, discover the good things in Hong Kong, and so that they pick up a skill, they. They pick up a class. It's actually something that adds extra joy instead yeah. of just passively. Oh, I looked. I took a photo in front of F Mount Fuji, and so I showed a million friends on Facebook. And then, oh my God, I'm going back to work tomorrow. So, like, if they picked up something new, then it's something extra <laughs> for them. It's about capturing the moment when you travel. You capture your romantic, your excitement, astonishing, and and then you you 
can also get those moments in Hong Kong. It's how you package it and who are you with. Yeah. Yeah, who are you with? <laughs> yeah, so with that in mind too, though, one of the things about traveling though is that you are leaving your home, you're leaving your routine. You know, because you know you go to a hotel room and somebody is cleaning, it's you know making up your bed for you, and things like that. But and I wonder if you know, even if you stayed in Hong Kong, you could still go to a hotel in Hong Kong. You're still leaving your house and you're still having the experience of just traveling, but you don't have to go far to get that experience. You could just go. To a hotel, and I wonder if maybe hotels would be willing to give like a local discount. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah. And you could also think it's sort of take market. the Green Monday approach, and rather than trying to get people to stop all together, say like figure out how many trips on average a Hong Kong citizen will take. Because some people are traveling constantly, and say, well, hey, maybe one out of three trips mm -hmm. stay right here and market it Try that out. way, and then mm -hmm. talk about as you said the benefit, the money you save, which could be put toward you know so much, you know, school tuition or so much this or that or the other or your FPF or whatever it is and you know, tie it into some of the economic goals that people have. Yeah, that's a question we ask. Yeah. Would you worry that maybe some people would view the fact that it's cheaper as like a negative thing because they might think that they have to settle for the lower quality version mm. of what they would have instead of the more luxurious version that they want to spoil themselves with. It's more young people. It depends how we brand it or how we market it. That's yeah. Maybe you could market it as people who don't have much money, like students in the first two years of college. Like for me, I would say this is going to be really useful if something like this existed right now. Because like I don't have enough money to travel to Southeast Asia, so I end up traveling more in Hong Kong, but then I look up and look for places on my own. But if I had a website which could tell me exactly the good places, like there are many places which I didn't know about, like Saiwan Beach is really beautiful, but mm -hmm. I discovered it accidentally. I had no idea it existed. <laughs> and but most people in the US also didn't know about it. But such things, if they could be made more popular, you could probably add that in your presentation tomorrow about Saiwan Beach if you've yeah. ever been there. And you know, that would actually encourage people to explore Hong Kong further. And then you other things like snorkeling, which is also there in Hong Kong, but nobody knows about it. Mm -hmm. Again, it's there in Saiwan. Mm -hmm. So you could promote such things. I mean, adding on to what you said, like I mean, you said did you say that you were going to organize tours or something? Yes. Um, let local organize. Okay, because like yeah. if, if a lot of uni students are interested about like in different like, certain activities like snorkeling or hiking, you guys can organize uh, joint university trips and that will also allow people of similar interests across universities to meet yeah. new people as well as experience, you know, local culture together. You know, I know why you don't want to trip into <laughs> <laughs> Why, why? <laughs> tell the world, tell the world. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs>